All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, When All Hell Breaks Loose, Will You Be Blameless? When All Hell Breaks Loose, Will You Be Blameless? Now I got inspired to do this lesson because of course, like the scriptures tell us to do, we're supposed to be watching what's going on around the world. We're supposed to be paying attention and being circumspect with everything that's happening. And one of the reasons being is because we understand that prophecy is happening. All right. We understand prophecy is happening and we see in this place crumble every single day. Every single day that goes past, this place gets worse and worse, man. And we can just feel it. We can see it that any one of these days, this place is going to eventually collapse, man. And the thing that we understand is that when this place collapse, collapses, we understand that Yahweh Shai is coming back. We understand the UFOs are going to show themselves full blown. We understand all our hell is going to be broken loose within the streets. Violence is going to be on a whole other level. All right. And one of the things that we want to make sure that, um, that happens with us when Jacob's trouble begins is we want to be blameless, meaning we want to be forgiven for our sins. We want to be covered. We want that cloak. OK, we want to make sure that we have that protection from you. How about showing you shy when these things go down, man? And that's one of the things I was uh, meditating on last night. I was like, man, when these things happen, man, <laughs> for real, for real, man, we're going to need that protection, man. We're going to need the spirit upon us so we can endure, first of all. And then we're going to need the Lord, man. We're going to need him to send the angels and for him to perform the miracles for us, man, so we can survive this. Because we understand that this place is about to be just straight trashed, man. It's about to go to shit, man. And it's about to be over with. So we want to make sure that we're blameless. So the way that you do that is by doing what? Being diligent, being sincere, pushing his truth, doing what you're supposed to do every single day. All right. That's the only way that you can feel confident when Jacob's trouble begins. You don't want to be one of them Israelites that was in the truth or so-called in the truth. And you was out here pushing the truth for money. You was out here pushing lies to your own people after you didn't learn that you're an Israelite. You was doing all these wicked things and everything like that. Or you was actually teaching the correct doctrine, but you were lukewarm. Or you just got to the point where you were lukewarm and then you began to get cold and then you eventually just left. All right. And when these things happen, are, they, are those dudes going to be blameless? No. The most High is going to remember them. They're going to be like, look, man, get rid of them. Get rid of them. And then that's when a lot of people are going to come to the realization that they should have been taking care of business when business should have been taken care of in the first place. All right. So at the end of the day, will you be blameless? You have to examine yourself, man. Let's go into the scriptures. Let's go into, um, Let's start with 1 Corinthians 1, and um, we're going to go to verse 4. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. It says, I thank my power always on your behalf for the grace of the Most High, which is given you by Yahweh Shai of Mashiach, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Mashiach Yahweh Shai was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift. Waiting for the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who shall also confirm you until the end, that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. This is what we this is why we do this, man. We came into this knowledge and we understand uh what the Most High is all about. We understand what these prophecies are all about, and we understand what's coming for us on the other side. All right. So we be diligent, we do what we're supposed to do all the way until that time comes. All right. All the way until we get beamed up in the chariot, man. And you see in verse eight, it says, who shall also confirm you until the end? You know, you go on a computer and everything like that. And you go to your bank account or well, you got to make a transaction and everything or you do PayPal. All right. <laughs> you know, you got certain money sent and everything like that. And you got you got to hit that confirm button to make sure everything goes through completely. Man, that's how the, that's how Yahweh Shah is going to be for us, man. He's going to make sure that we make it all the way to the end. He's going to complete us. 
especially when we get those new bodies that's why it says who shall also confirm you until the end he's going to be like look he's going to talk to the most high yeah how was going to be like these are the men of the lord these are the elect right here these are the ones that should be saved all right even though the most high already know who his elect is you know i'm just giving an example all right it says who shall also confirm you unto the end that you may be blameless in the day of our lord yahweh shai hamashiach we want to be blameless we don't want to be looked down upon we don't want to be like man i i remember me doing this i remember doing this wickedness i remember me re remember me doing this madness the next thing you know you get shaky and you already know how jake is man you get to the point where you know that you did something wrong and you know that you can't get out of the situation man they just end up being the same fuck it they just be like man i'm just gonna go ahead and just do the wrong things all the way to the end because they don't have any confidence they don't have any confidence they get to the point where they just like man the lord is coming back i already know i'm not gonna make it because they know in the back of their mind they wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing beforehand so what they do they just continue to do wickedness because they have it in the back of their minds that they think that oh the, the, the death by pain is not gonna be that bad i might not have to go through that much of a situation the most time might take me out quick whatever the case may be those demons hop on your in your head man <laughs> and they make you think some other shit and they get you to the point where you just start to sound crazy all right but at the end of the day you can't be like that man we trying to be blameless we all have fallen short of the glory we uh fallen short of the glory man we all have sinned but at the end of the day we want to be forgiven so how can we be forgiven by this faith man let's get um philippians 2 and 12 and it says wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and this scripture comes out a lot man now much more in, in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling why because you don't know when the lord is coming back you don't know when these things are going to happen so when things start to happen you don't want to be walking out there shaky verse 4 verse uh, 13 it says for it is the most high which working than you both to will and to do of his good pleasure this is why we say this is not of ourselves this is the most high's will he put the spirit upon us to do this this is why we got to pray every day that he doesn't remove the holy spirit away from us man it says verse 14 it says do all things without murmurings and disputings here it is again that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of the most high without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world Woo! we shine as lights in the world because we have this knowledge man when people see us they don't believe us they don't listen to us so be it but the most high sees us man the most high sees us he's looking down on the earth and he's seeing us as those shining lights man he's looking all around the globe and he's just like yep there go my elect there, there go my men out there doing the work man doing what they supposed to do in the midst of this what crooked and perverse nation man this wicked ass world man that's why it says he sent us out as uh sheeps in the midst of wolves because people don't want to hear this and ultimately people want to get rid of us for teaching this truth but guess what man we out there anyway we out there anyway and ultimately that's going to lead us to being what blameless and harmless the most is going to be like those are the, those are my elect right there that's the apple of my eye those are my friends like how was i said man these are my friends man you know how it is in this world you know everybody want to have a friend everybody want to have somebody they can talk to lean on me you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying everybody want to have somebody they could depend on man who do we depend on we depend on you how about show me how shot all right so at the end of the day hey this is why we doing this man because we are working out our own salvation with fear and trembling man we trying to get up out of here we don't care what comes our way we're going to be spiritual and we're going to do the best that we possibly can every single day man let's get second peter um let's get second peter three and nine and it says the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but it's long suffering to us work not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat 
the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up all right we understand that this place is going to be destroyed by nuclear destruction the most high gave us the the eyes the uh the eyes to see and the ears to hear before these things happen man he put the spirit upon us so we can understand this all right that's why it says in verse 11 it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness what are you supposed to be doing before the lord comes back what type of mind should you be in before this place is destroyed by world war three man what type of person should you be should you be a person that wake up every single morning and be like man you know i gotta make sure i get this money man i gotta make sure i hit this party up hey man i got a shorty on the side man she got friends i gotta make sure i hit them up you know or if you're one of them people that's super dedicated, yeah, man, I'm going to drive all the way to California. You know, I'm going to live in my car so then I can showcase my talent and it's going to be heard by the right person or somebody going to see my talents. They're going to put me on in the industry, give me 300,000 followers on YouTube, <laughs> whatever the case may be. Should you be that type of person? If you know that this place is getting ready to be destroyed, doesn't that don't, that don't add up, man. It don't sound right. If you know this place is getting ready to be destroyed, you should always be praying. That's why the scriptures say pray without ceasing. You should be fasting, afflicting your spirit, putting yourself in a situation that doesn't feel good. So then at the end of the day, you will feel good because you made it with the salvation, man. All right. You're supposed to be out here doing the work. All right. Because when these things happen, man, we want to see the miracles. We don't want to see the miracles happen to somebody else, but they don't happen to us. <laughs> okay we don't want that man we want to actually experience the miracles that's going to boost your faith within jacob's trouble man especially when it happens for the first time imagine you in a situation you just like man i don't know how i'm gonna get up out of this it's about to be a wrap and then the next thing you know a miracle happened and you make it out of the situation that's going to boost your faith you're going to be like man the lord is with me let me keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing and that's the same way you should feel now. You shouldn't even have, even have to wait until Jacob's trouble, man. You should be feeling like that right now. Every single day when you go out or whatever, or you try to upload a video and everything, and you got the spirit upon you to bring out this word, that's faith, man. That's a boost of your spirit because you're just like, man, look at me. Every single day, I'm doing something for the Lord. So this is the type of person that you should be knowing that this place is getting ready to be destroyed. That's why it says in verse 12, it says, looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of our power, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Verse 14, it says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and what? And blameless. <laughs> blameless man let's look that word up right quick second peter what's that second peter 3 and 14 and second peter 3 and 14 let's go to it um second peter 3 14 and let's go here it is blameless this is the uh greek word strong's g 298 a Amometos. It says that cannot be censured, blameless, without rebuke. <laughs> without rebuke. When we go out and we uh, make these videos against these different Israelites or just people in general that's going off, right? We rebuke them because we telling them that you doing the wrong thing. We telling them you need to repent before your situation gets worse or you just straight up perish, right? Right here it says without rebuke without rebuke so that mean um, yahweh shy yahweh bashim yahweh shy is gonna look at you and be like i have nothing to say <laughs> see that man he gonna be like man hey i ain't got nothing to say to you man he gonna look you in the eyes hey he be like hey well done my faithful servant here's your crown i don't got nothing to say to you you out there doing the work for me man you were making your body a living sacrifice you were out there pushing i have nothing to say to you here's your salvation enjoy the earth <laughs> enjoy the earth this is what we want man 
This is why I say, this is why I name this video what it is. When all hell breaks loose, will you be blameless? This is the type of spirit we should be in, man. Let's go to Luke. Um, let's go to Luke chapter 12, verse um, 32. And it says, Fear not, little flock, but it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He want to give you the kingdom, man. Like the apostles always say, the kingdom is already within you because you have this knowledge. It's already there, man. Just don't let it go. Don't let go of the spirit. It says, sell that ye have and give alms. Provide, provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that felleth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, then when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. <laughs> ASAP, man. That's like that, man. When the Lord come back, he like, hey, they're going to be part of the wedding. Hey, let's go get them, man. It says, bless are those servants whom the Lord, I'm sorry, uh, some like you. Bless are, those, bless are those servants when the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them, man. Bless are the servants who the Lord found and he found them watching, man. He found them doing the work. Bless are those people. Everybody else ain't going to be blessed, man. Hey, man, the Lord going to come back. He's going to see them smoking weed, partying, taking the MOTB, making Esau their God, so forth and so on, man. You be like, hey, man, I ain't here for them. I'm here for the ones that's, that's watching, man. The ones that's holding tight to this faith. And in verse 38, it says, If he shall come in a second watch, or come in a third watch, and find them so, bless are those servants. And this know that if the good men of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be therefore ready also, for the summer man cometh at an hour when ye think not. This is why you got to be blameless, man. You don't know when Yahweh Shai is going to come back. You don't know when these things are getting ready to pop off. We see things are close, but we don't know exactly what day these things are going to continue to happen or begin to happen, I should say. All right. So before that day comes, we need to prepare ourselves within the spirit by doing this work every single day. Whatever it is that the, whatever gift the most I gave you, hey, use that gift to your best abilities, abilities every single day, man. Don't let go of it. Let's get one last scripture. Let's get Psalms uh, 106. Let's get Psalms 106 and uh, 106 in part. Oh. <laughs> this is Psalms 106 and 3. It says, Blessed are they that keep judgment and he that doeth righteousness at all times. <laughs> there you go. We rehearsing the right. We rehearsing the righteous acts, right? Hey, man, we got to do what we're supposed to do every single day. It says, Blessed are they that keep judgment. And he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy, with thy salvation. Yeah. Visit us with your salvation. Take us out of here. Get us out of here, man. We don't want to be here in the midst of this wickedness. We don't want to be here when this place get ready to melt with that heat. Visit me with your salvation. Verse 5, it says that I may see the good of thy chosen that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remember not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even the, at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he may make his mighty power to be known. And that's exactly what we're getting ready to see on this side. We're getting ready to see you. How about some of Shai's power known on a greater level this time? Because Esau's technology <laughs> and his ways of life has definitely surpassed the ways of Egypt back then, man. The things that Esau can do now is, is incredible. I mean, literally, you have magicians out here that's not even, you know, uh, they just putting up videos on TikTok and everything like that. They over here levitating and making money come out of their hands you know all, all kind of impressive shit man and that's just regular people 
who learn how to be, you know, magicians. Imagine what Esau can do. You know what the Rothschilds know, what the Rockefellers know, the technology that they uh, that they have at hand, man. Man, they can do all kind of things right now, man. This is why we know that spiritual power is going to be a thing. It's going to have to be something that's going to have to top Esau within this day and age, man. What can possibly be better than what Esau has today? That spiritual power, man. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great, man. But going back to verse uh, four, because that was the point. It says, remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. All right. Visit us with his salvation, man. We want to have salvation. We we want to be looking out of the, the, the glass, you know, the window when the America is burning. And we want to look down on it and be happy that we seeing that, man, instead of us being in it. Okay. So at the end of the day, when all hell breaks loose, will you be blameless? Will you be blameless? Look in the mirror, man, and examine yourself every single day because we coming into that time. Don't get to the point where you feel shaky. Don't get to the point where you hesitant. If you got things you need to work on, <laughs> this very second is the time to start doing it because time is short, man. So get with it before it's too late. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.